Rich, your 11 o'clock is here. It's Eric. Hey, well, welcome aboard. Um, you'll be working with Tanya here on your summer project. She knows how to do basically everything in the lab, so she'll be able to show you what to do and get you trained up. Uh, we'll meet from time to time, make sure everything's going okay, and uh, we'll just stay in touch by email. All right? Great, thanks. All right, and that's how it's done. And all you have to do is plug it in, turn on the power cord or power switch, and then let it run overnight. I actually have to get to class, so go ahead and set up yours, and I'll see you later. So all of these are uncut. Did you incubate them in the water bath for 30 minutes? Yeah, 30 minutes exactly. And you added one microliter of enzyme to each reaction. Enzymes. Those are the little tubes, right? Yeah, the one in the freezer that have the screw top and I told you to put them on ice. Yeah, the thing was, there I couldn't find the ice. So you didn't use any enzyme. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so the enzymes are all here. So you have uh, XBA1, Eco R1, Hindi 3, and here's the reaction catalog with all the conditions that you need. Okay. You're good, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So these are all partials. Are you sure you incubated them for 30 minutes? Oh yeah, 30 minutes exactly. Hmm. Did you use the right restriction enzyme buffers? Yeah, put it in the gel box. That's electrophoresis buffer. Each restriction enzyme requires a special buffer. The ones with the screw tops in the freezer? Yeah, I didn't use those. So here's a complete protocol for the restriction digest. I have the buffer, I have the water, the pipette, the pipette tips, and you know where the enzymes are, right? All right, well, text me if you need anything. I have to run to class in about 10 minutes. So there's nothing here. How much DNA did you use? The DNA from last time? Yeah, one microliter, right? The green, green tubes? Well, I thought I put them on my shelf, um, but I couldn't find them. I don't know, maybe someone moved them? Oh, or so you didn't, you forgot to add the DNA? Hey, thanks for coming by. So how's um, Eric doing? Um, he's doing all right. He keeps forgetting things here and there, and I probably should have written out some better, more detailed protocols. But I think everything's under control, and it's going to be OK. OK, well, don't forget we have that abstract deadline a week from Thursday, OK? Oh, yeah, right. All right, so here's the protocol. And here I have all of the supplies. And remember, here's the DNA. And I have a really good feeling it's going to work this time, and then tomorrow we can get started on your app. So this restriction and digest looks great. The only problem is um, I don't know what order they're labeled in. 
Well, what do you mean? Like, which enzymes did you use? Well, the ones you gave me. But what's the order that you actually loaded this in? Well, from left to right, like you told me. But how do we know which enzyme is in which well? And this is why we always need to write things down in the lab notebook, because now we can't use any of these results. We don't know what's in any of these wells. So I went into the lab and we ran the gel. Well, you won't believe it. First, he left out the buffer. Then he left out the restriction enzyme. And then he forgot the DNA. And I thought I had written a complete protocol for him. And so I let him go. And when we loaded the gel, he forgot to write down what was in every link. So now we have no data, and I can't even help him write his abstract at this point because we have no basis. Okay, look, um, you're doing fine. Um, I'll give him a pep talk. Okay. Do you need one? No, I'll be fine. I'll just run the gel one more time and hope for the best. Okay, well, let's get it, okay? Rich, you 11 o'clock is here. It's Eric. Yeah, yeah, we were in New Orleans last week at the cardiac meeting. Oh, it was great. Yeah, Steve was there, of course. Yep, yep, that's Steve. So it was the same, same as he always is, you know, the guy's a complete animal. We're in New Orleans. You think, you know, you can't party enough there, but we go to Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street's not good enough for him. No, no, we end up at the old absinthe house. Oh my God, I thought my head was going to explode the next morning. Uh-huh. Yeah, listen, um, listen, listen, I gotta go because I got somebody in the office, but I'll talk to you soon. Okay, dude, bye. Hey, thanks for coming in. Um, so, uh, I hear you're kind of a slob in the lab. You're gonna have to really pick up your act if we're gonna get any kind of data out of you and then end up taking to any of that to any meetings. Well, <clears throat> look, I, I'm sorry, you know, I mean, I, I'm a slob too. I mean, look at this place. I'm a slob too. We're all, you know, but. Um, it's important that, you know, that's why I'm down here pushing papers around, and that's why you guys are up doing the hard work in the lab. Listen, I gotta get this. Sorry, hold on. Hello? Hey, dude, what's going on? Yeah, New Orleans. Hold on one sec. Listen, I'll, I'll catch you later. Uh, we'll, we'll talk later, okay? I gotta get this. Yeah, yeah, it was great. New Orleans was awesome. Yeah, Steve was there. 